And now, uh, welcome Dr. Dorin to share your screen and start your topic, how to with kissing balloon inflation. Thank you. So, uh, thank you for a kind invitation. Uh, I hope that you have my screen on board. Yes, we can see your screen. Okay. So I will present uh, one new modification of uh, pot and kissing. So there are three types of uh, changes which occur during the stenting of bifurcations. First one is the carina displacement from the stent struts. Mm -hmm. The next one is uh, the lateral stretching of the side branch ostium because of uh, elliptic deformation during inflation of the balloon and uh, mind vessel straightening. We made a lot of uh, bench testing on the elastic models concentrating on the deformation of the wall. And this is the model we used, uh, which is elastic model, uh, which uh, where we um, implanted a lot of stents just to uh, check not only the stand deformations, but also the model deformations, which are similar to coronary vessels. And uh, what we observed first, that were tests uh, which we made uh, 13 years ago. And uh, we observed that there is a Carina shifting, but there is also this type of elliptical stretch on the lateral walls in the plane, which is perpendicular of the plane of the main vessel and uh, side branch. Uh, hello, and... hello, Dr. Uh, Darwin, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Um, can you show the full screen? We now see in the page one. Really? Yeah. Do you see it now? No. Okay. No. Do you see oh. it? Yeah, it's okay now. Thank you. Okay, so this is the model which we used for the bench testings. This is the side branch proximal main vessel. And these are the formations which occur after stand placement with the lateral stretching of the side branch ostium. And uh, we observed the, this elliptical formation at the ostium. And uh, these are tests which uh, we performed, uh, especially for this presentation in the last uh, Saturday. You can observe this is under fluoroscopy after stand placement and pot with regular non-compliant balloon and kissing afterwards. This is the result with the final pot. You can appreciate that there is some missing point at uh, the ostium water wall of the side branch. And this is the uh, final view, how it uh, looks on the fluoroscopy. However, if you look it on the microscope, you will see that the, actually the lateral strut of the stent is not completely opposed despite the pot kissing and uh, final pot. This is even more aggressive strategy than the uh, recommended from the EBC. So we uh, proposed alternative uh, technique. This is uh, stenting pot and uh, pot with uh, kissing inflation done simultaneously. Uh, the next uh, tests were performed with uh, the Brosmet balloon uh, for pot. Again, the same stent uh, implanted. Then we made a pot. The, this is the first pot. And then we made a pot with kissing inflation. We just kept the balloon uh, at the same place. And after the wire crossings, we made the inflation with the 
specific way, just uh, the side branch balloon um, proximal marker was uh, placed exactly at the ostium inside the stent. And then uh, there is an overlap between the two markers, simultaneous inflation, and this is the final result, almost the same like in uh, previous simulation. However, if you observe it uh, microscopically, you will observe that there is a complete position of the stent strut uh, against the side branch lateral wall. And this is why uh, the pot balloon is uh, so uh, appropriate for this uh, technique. Actually, it uh, ensures a complete a position of the stent struts without uh, distal distortion. I will show you several cases uh, in patients how we perform this uh, technique. The first uh, patient is a 78-year-old female with a lot of risk factors with uh, decreased injection fraction with uh, 42%. Uh, and uh, we observed uh, three vessel disease with the diffusely diseased LED and uh, occluded uh, RCA with the huge uh, PDA. After crossing, uh, it was uh, easy to cross with ultimate bros uh, three um, wire and uh, wire exchange. Uh, we made a lot of uh, predilations with uh, 2.5 balloons. And then this is the result. Uh, we implanted two long stents in the RCA just before the bifurcation. Then the PDA was wired and dilated with a long uh, 2.5 uh, to 40 millimeters balloon. Then uh, additional stent was implanted distally. The first pot with the dedicated pot balloon was uh, performed. Uh, and then we made a, a pocky inflation with the proximal optimization and kissing. And uh, this is uh, the, the final result uh, for this case. As you can appreciate, there is an excellent uh, geographic result. The second case is a 69-year-old uh, male patient with the previous uh, inferior wall MI and uh, normal ejection fraction. There was a, a stenting in the proximal mid RCA, but uh, there is also a distal PDA lesion and uh, a long diseased LAD with uh, two diagonal branches. Uh, this is uh, Medina 111 for both uh, bifurcation lesions. Uh, this uh, lung lesion was uh, crossed with the uh, predilated uh, with uh, 2.5 balloon, then a long uh, 275 stent uh, was implanted and uh, normal kissing inflation, drug eluting balloon with the uh, proximal optimization and uh, that is the final result uh, for the case just for the technique uh, demonstration. The third case is a uh, 52-year-old male with uh, again with the previous inferior wall MI with the previous uh, PCI on the LAD. This time the patient presented with the nuanced uh, angina and there was a, an occlusion of uh, distal PDA with the uh, already known um, CTO on the uh, circumflex. So we approached the circumflex with the Fielder FC and uh, fine cross. After crossing the CTO, several predilotations with the long balloons uh, was uh, performed and then we implanted uh, two long uh, stents. This is the result uh, from stenting from distal to proximal. Then we made the pot with the dedicated pot balloon. After potting, however, there was uh, some pinching on this uh, huge marginal uh, branch. So we made the pocky 
with the same balloon and uh, additional balloon placed. Uh, this is the drug eluting balloon placed in the uh, side branch. And uh, this is the final result uh, for this case. And the next uh, case is uh, a patient with the low ejection fraction, three vessel disease, and uh, occlusion of the LED with the good collateralizations uh, on the LED, we decided uh, directly to proceed with the retrograde approach and uh, was uh, successful in crossing the lesion. Then uh, the anti-grade wire was uh, replaced. However, after stenting uh, the proximal lesion where uh, the a huge diagonal branch uh, appeared, it was severely pinched. And after potting, uh, there was no improvement in the situation. So we made the pocky with the long balloon. Uh, this is a peripheral 2.5 balloon to 80 uh, length and this is uh, the final result uh, for this case with a very good restoration of the patency of the diagonal and uh, distal LED. And the last case is a patient with a three vessel disease with the critical osteoarthritis and uh, high grade stenosis at the osteum of the the also the bifurcation of the left main. So after stenting right coronary, we approach this uh, left main uh, and uh, the IVUS uh, was performed where a lot of calcium was uh, uh, demonstrated. So we made a lot of predilatation with some high pressure balloons, long stent was placed in the LED. This is uh, the result after stenting LED. And uh, then we made a lot of uh, POT uh, inflations, uh, including with the Brosmet balloon, with the high pressure dilatation. Finally, we made the Pocky uh, for the circumflex with the drug eluting balloon in the circumflex. And uh, this is the final result uh, for this case. And uh, we, up to now, we have 48 patients done with the POCI technique uh, for the last uh, year, including three left mains. Uh, we made uh, eight patients uh, with the BROSMET uh, pot balloon with the excellent performance in very complex uh, lesions and all cases were successful. So in conclusion, I could say that the POCI is probably the new best technique for achieving optimal angiographic result when you choose a provisional distenting technique. POCI gives a better stand strata position on bench testing at least in comparison with the standard pot kissing pot uh, technique. Pot, the POCI could be applied in very complex uh, bifurcation lesions and the pot balloon is a promising, very user-friendly and technically optimal device for doing pot and especially the POCI technique. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Barbarin. Thank you, Dobry. I have just a little question. Uh, I appreciate uh, uh, your presentation and uh, also this new uh, bifurcation technique uh, with uh, the pot balloon is promising to take uh, a great successful in the treatment of a bifurcation. Um, but I don't understand if uh, after the pocky uh, performed, you take a pot in the proximal strand uh, of your bifurcation. No, we no. finish with Pocky. We so finish with Pocky. Just you place the side branch balloon, the proximal marker of the side branch balloon, just inside the stand. Only this part of the uh, side branch balloon is placed inside the border of the stand. And then you place, this is, you can use it practically even in the 
where the ostium of the side branch is not clear because you can alienate the markers, the two markers uh, side by side. The distal marker from the main vessel balloon, the pot balloon, and the proximal marker from the side branch balloon. So they are collineate and you made inflation at that point. And pot balloon is very useful for that just because it uh, ensures not to deform the stent too much in the distal part. You can escape the over dilation of the distal main vessel. Yes, uh, of course, but uh, uh, you can leave uh, the treatment of the proximal strut of the stent. For example, in the treatment of your left main LED and left circ, you uh, optimize the bifurcation treatment with yes. your, your uh, pocket technique, but without the treatment of the ostium of left main. Why not? No, we, we, we finished with the uh, uh, final additional inflation with the ostium. Ah, okay, okay. For this case, we made a lot, uh, a lot of dilatation, even uh, because on IVUS it was uh, difficult to expand, but uh, finally we succeeded. So we, after POCI, we made uh, two additional inflations, in the okay, okay. especially for this case. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you, Dr. Vasilev. That was a really interesting novel technique. Uh, it's very, very um, attractive. Uh, how, how do you size the balloons? I mean, the POT balloon is going one one to the main proximal main vessel yes. diameter, and, yes. and the other balloon is which size? One one to uh, according to the side branch uh, reference. The diameter. side branch. Yes, in most of the cases, we use the dragulating uh, balloons. For finishing. Okay, so you you go one one, you get the best the best um, yes uh, position. Do, do you have intracranial imaging of of this technique? I mean yes yes we have uh, four patients. Uh, we now are doing comparison with the angiographic results uh, in the bifurcation lesions, and I hope that uh, next month we will submit the paper uh, for the technique. Okay. Looking forward to see it. Congratulations. Thank you. I like adopting the use of drag and looting balloon inside of the side branch for the final uh, bifurcation with pot and drag and looting balloon in the side. I like it. Yes, yeah, it makes, you, sense. It makes sense. This is just like a standard technique for us now. Yes, to avoid the uh, other stent placement on the side. So to you to avoid the two, two stand techniques. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Thank you for all the sharing. It benefits a lot uh, from four experts' experience and knowing more about the post uh, balloon usage for proximal optimization in bifurcation. And uh, we be uh, believe this sharing will bring us many guidance in using post balloon. And uh, Brosman, as the manufacturer of post balloon caster. We thank for experts' high evaluation, and the Brosman will keep on providing innovative devices uh, to our distinguished physicians and patients. And uh, thank you again. For more product information, you can search Brosman Medical website. And uh, any question, you can contact us via sales at brosman.com. Okay, have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Hoping Bye -bye. to meet you in the in next webinar. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye. 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 Ciao. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you for Ciao. all doctors. Ciao. 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 Ciao.